What's going on, Sports Wars? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and GeeksandGamers.com. And before the start of the NBA season, so much of the focus was on Kyrie Irving, his vaccination status, and the fact that he is not allowed to play home games for the Brooklyn Nets. Well, now that we're closing in on the end of the regular season, Kevin Durant is sick and tired of this. Kevin Durant has had enough, and he is publicly calling out the city and the mayor for the ridiculous vaccination restrictions for players. Watch Nets. Kevin Durant calls out stupid vax policy and the New York City Mayor Eric Adams. Kevin Durant can't even make sense out of New York City's unwillingness to let the unvaxxed Kyrie Irving play. Seen courtside at Barclays all weekend, but unable to play games, has lit a fire underneath the NBA community as New York City Mayor Eric Adams keeps Kyrie sidelined due to a restriction imposed on private sector workers. So think about this. Kyrie Irving is not allowed to play home games for the Brooklyn Nets right now. The Brooklyn Nets, who when we look at the NBA standings, had been ravaged by injuries, problems, things like that. They're sitting at 35 and 33, two games above 500 with about 15 games or so to play. Eight seed in the Eastern Conference. They are still fighting to get up into that sixth spot so they don't have to be in the play-in game. Kevin Durant wants Kyrie Irving back. The rest of the Brooklyn Nets want Kyrie Irving back. There's no reason he shouldn't be playing right now. And then Kyrie Irving is allowed to attend games. Just look at this. I want to want you want to show you this. We don't even really need the sound. Kyrie Irving coming in in the second quarter of the game. Him and his family unmasked, unvaccinated, no problems because there's no restrictions in place anymore for who can go to these games. So you literally have Kyrie Irving, right? You know, talking to everybody, hanging out with the crowd, but he's not allowed to play home games. How stupid is this? We are now over two years into this stuff. People are fucking sick and tired of COVID restrictions. This is so incredibly stupid. And now Kevin Durant's about to point it out. And not only was he there, he was also there. Let's watch this. R.J. Barrett and Kyrie Irving was at the Duke game that was played in New York City. Because again, he can attend. He just can't play for some reason. Well, let's see what Kevin Durant has to say about that. It's ridiculous. Like, I don't understand it at all. I mean, can't, is it every, it's a few people in our arena that's unvaxxed, right? Like, they lifted all of that in our arena, right? So what's the, I don't get it. It's a second mandate that says he can come in but can't play. Yeah, I don't get it. It just feels like at this point now, somebody's trying to make a statement or a point um, to flex their authority. Um, but, you know, everybody out here looking for attention, and that's what I feel like the the mayor wants right now, some attention, you know. Um, but he'll figure it out soon. He better. Um, but it just didn't make any sense. Like, there's unvaxxed people in this building already. We got a guy who uh, can come into the building. I guess, are they fearing our safety? With like, I don't get it. So, yeah, we're all confused. Pretty much everybody in the world is confused at this point. Early on in the season, you know, people didn't understand what was going on, but now it just looks stupid. So, hopefully, Eric, you you got to figure this out. Publicly calling out the mayor of New York City for this ridiculousness, and every normal, rational human being can look at this and say, "Yeah, this is stupid." The fact that they did it to begin with is fucking stupid. The fact that they're doing it now, while they're allowing anybody to go and actually watch and play in the or go and watch the game, but not playing the game, this is insane. I love hearing that from someone like Kevin Durant. You know, a, a very it's a very important part of the NBA. One of the best players in the NBA, publicly calling out the mayor for these stupid policies that are affecting his team. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.